what I would suggest is that there are elements uh, that because of my personal commitment to the Affordable Care Act and the commitment of Democrats to the Affordable Care Act, that we would work very hard to shoulder. And I believe that we would find a way to shoulder that burden to maintain this very, very pivotal turn for America on health care. It seems like regardless of what the Supreme Court does, we're headed for more congressional gridlock. What does that say about Americans that say we just want some decision and then we'll, we'll deal with it and move on? I want to embrace those Americans. In fact, when I go home, uh, I speak their language, they speak mine. Uh, I'm quoting the great philosopher Rodney King, can we all get along? I frankly believe on the issue of health care, it would be tragic. It would be a disaster. If you close or diminish my community health clinics, if you disallow seniors from going in for preventative care, if you don't close the donut hole of the Medicare Bill Part B that I oppose and seniors have said you were right, uh, if we don't uh, keep uh, the coverage of babies yet unborn, that will come in with pre-existing diseases such as asthma, respiratory illnesses, and others where heretofore they could not be covered. If you do disallow that, then who are we as a country? Straight ahead, former governor.